Okay, my friends. I've attempted a lot of speedruns in the past, and I think this is probably my best one. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a new game plus seven speedrun in Bloodborne. Uh, that consists of all seven main bosses. Uh, Father Gascoigne, Vicar Amelia, the Shadows of Yarnum, uh, Rom the Vacuous Spider, the One Reborn, Mikolash, the Host of the Nightmare, and Mergo's Witness. And uh, of course I'm going to run up to German and just submit my life just to close up the speedrun. But uh, this one went okay. Again it was hit and miss. Sometimes uh, things don't go the way you want them to go. Sometimes things go perfectly. Uh, in this case, I did make some silly mistakes, but I think when it comes to speedrunning, you're so tensed up and you're so, you know, focused to pull it off and do it perfectly that mistakes are inevitable. So, uh, in this speedrun, I didn't light lanterns. Uh, I did open up some uh, shortcuts, I think. Uh, I think the main thing for me is not to take any damage because I'm starting off with 20 blood bars and 20 bullets. Uh, I'm going to use my sword lever and I'm going to use my willy kick saw in uh, some of the uh, uh, boss fights. Um, my main aim over here is to take as little damage as possible so I can uh, reserve my my stuff. The only time I'm going to go back to the Hunter's Dream is is when I'm going to go and buy the uh, Hunter's Chief emblem to gain access to the Cathedral Ward in order to get to Vicar Amelia. Uh, this is different from when you do a no Hunter's Dream run when you don't go to the Hunter's Dream at all. Now, my aim is here to take damage, just that little damage over there and try and get to Gascoin without taking any hits now. Um, I've said this in my No Hunter's Dream run. What I try to do with Gascoin when I fight him, I try to get three viscerals on him uh, with my sword cleaver uh, loaded with some beast blood pellets and some fire paper and uh, try and finish him off there before he turns into or before he goes into his second phase. But um, like I said, guys, it's, it's, it's hit and miss. Uh, because I'm going for a speed, yeah, I'm not going to go for the pig, I'm not going to go for the vials. I still have 20, I only took that little bit of damage, so uh, I should be okay. I have done this, uh, I mean I've practiced this uh, to try and get my time down as fast as I can without glitching the game. Uh, this is a legit speed run in my estimation because I'm running everywhere, I'm keeping the load screens, I'm not glitching out of the game, I'm not shutting down the game, it's just um, I want to do it as fast as I can in the most, in the best time I could. Okay, so just gonna skip this scene. Right, so I'm hoping for one visceral, two visceral, three viscerals and hack and slash. Because he starts shooting at me. Come on, gas coin. It's the first one. It's the second one. Now if you give me my third one, we'll be we, good. We, we can oh, get through this fight quickly. There's the third the one. Sweet blood. So now I'm just gonna hack and slash. Oh, it seems to me. Get him out of the way. It's enough to make a man sick. <laughs> right, he's dead. What? Okay. Move in on. Do, 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 do. Speed running is a funny thing if you attempt it. Um, it's like I say, you, you're so nervous and you know so focused on what you're doing. I, for this one, I chose the the Kainest armor set. Um, Kainest armor, the Kainest headpiece. Kainer's gloves, but I'm using the ashen uh, trousers. I'm using my Evelyn pistol, plus 10 pistol. I'm using my sword cleaver, which is a plus 10 also. And I'm using my whirligig saw, which is also a plus 10. 
Okay, so this is the only thing that really takes time. I'm going to try and... Uh, what I try to do is I try to go into the Hunter's Dream buy the the hunter's chief emblem and get out in about 30 seconds just to to shave that time off so, okay just skip that go to the bath messengers now, i mean you can go and get rid of your um you can go and get rid of your insights and stuff uh, as it does buffer up the game's difficulty level but uh, in this case, I'm not going to go for it. I think when I when I completed this uh, speed run, I had about 25 or 26 insights on me, which is uh, it's a lot. As you know, you can use your insights to either call in uh, online help, or when you summon some of the old hunters or the NPCs, or you can use it to buy consumables like uh, beast blood pellets, fire paper, bolt paper. Uh, Purgeon blood cocktails, numbing mist. You can buy uh, some armor sets from uh, various NPCs if you completed the game previously. So uh, you can always use that stuff. Okay, so I'm not going to go for those blood vials over there. I have, I'm okay over here. I'm just going to get past these guys and head over to Vicar Amelia. The same, uh, I have the same thing with Vikramila when I fight her. I have this thing where I uh, go to the left hand side of the cathedral and I want her to jump towards me. I want to hack at her with my whirly kick saw. I want to make her fall down, get one visceral on her, and as soon as she bends over, I'm going to try and hit, uh, slash at her head. Now, this is always also a funny part here. You need to run by that angle. Otherwise, if one of those guys hits you, all four start attacking you. And then it's game over. And then you have to start over. I've got it right over there. So something went okay here. Yeah. Uh, getting back to what I was saying about Vicar Amelia. Yeah, trying to. I'm going to try and get one visceral on her and just hack and slash until she dies. There was a little bit, a little instance which was quite funny in that match. Um, I didn't quite do enough damage in the first phase. And I thought she was dead and I thought the fight was over with, only to realize she's still alive, but she had no no health left. You'll you'll see this uh, at the end of the, the boss fight. Just finished her off with my, my soul cleaver, but that could have gone wrong. <laughs> okay, so I have my numbing mist equipped. Taking out my willy gig, beast blood, and fire paper. I use uh, fire paper on most bosses because most of them don't like fire. It's kind of interesting. Uh, Mergo's wet nurse, she doesn't like bolt. Um, she's one of the bosses that do. But yeah, we'll get to that. Okay, so I'm just going to get a stun here. Pull down. Get that visceral. Oh, I missed the visceral. Sorry. Yeah, I missed it. Did I get this? Oh, I got it over here. Okay. That was completely back backwards. I was supposed to get to this little this time. You see, I thought she was dead there. And only to realize she's still sitting up. <laughs> okay, she's gone now. Okay, gonna interact with the skull at the back of the cathedral in order to um, access the Forbidden Woods and head over to the Shadows of Yarnum. I'm not using NPCs in this speedrun. So all these boss fights are solo boss fights. Okay, so I'm up to eight insights already. And we are on nine minutes and eight seconds. It's not bad for Gascoigne and Vicar, I think. <laughs> okay, I could have gone for those six blood vials on the left there down the staircase, but we're still in pretty good shape. I can still do this. I'm not going to go for these pickups because I'm not going to need them. I am very excited because I'm going to start playing uh, Elden Ring pretty soon. I'm just waiting for my, my game to arrive. So 
be sure to check out the channel for some uh, Elden Ring videos in the near future. Really excited about this. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drop down with these boulders and try and take as little damage as I could. You can run down the staircase if you really want to. Uh, but, again, for time, I'm just going as fast as I can. Now, you can wait for uh, the the for Stanley to come and walk past you here. Um, so you can get a clear shot of this. Luckily, he didn't hit me there. Sometimes he does hit you. I mean, again, guys, it's one of those things where... It's hit and miss. Um, I've said this before, the game never acts the same way twice. It's it's just the way these games are made. Now, I made a little bit of a blunder here. My plan was to run through this area without getting hit. But I got bit by a dog. I got bit by the dog again. And this guy with his uh, surfboard, he hit me in the face. So I took more damage there than I was supposed to. But it's, it happens. I'm just going to heal up, get those vials over here. Just go back to 20 vials. Cool, that's cool. I'm full there. And then I'm just going to run past. Remember, guys, if you ever run out of vials over here, there are six vials when you go through this little ravine. The first building on your right hand side, if you go in there, there's a little door there. There's six vials in the corner there if you do ever do need to pick up more vials. Just past that tree, there's a little hut there, and there's six vials in the corner there, so you can go and get that. I'm not going to jump down my normal spot here in the corner, I don't want to take damage. So I'm going to run past the snakehead guy. I mean, he's pretty harmless until he starts transforming. Uh, he doesn't attack you while he's in that state, so... Be careful of this snakehead guy. He has a tendency to hit you. I think he did hit me. At, yeah, he did hit me. No, he didn't. But sometimes he uh, he does. Made a stupid mistake here. I'm supposed to land on the rock and I landed past it. So I took a little bit of damage there. Okay, so now I'm just going to sprint towards the shadows of Yarnum. The reason I'm using the Kanist um, armor in this one is uh, they have some of the highest physical and blood attack stats. And I mean, most of these bosses that I'm fighting now is, uh, well, it's either blood attacks or physical attacks. So this is, it's quite a good armor set for this. I've, I've actually, uh, I've seen that sometimes when you use the church garb, say with the Bloodstyle Beast fight, which is an optional boss in Old Yarnum. Uh, he That garb has quite a high uh, poison tolerance, because that boss poisons you. But uh, yeah, for this one I'm using the Kanist Kanist armor set. Okay, I think what I did here is I, if I remember correctly, I did fill up my health and I killed that pig so I can get his vials. No, I didn't. That was probably in one of my practice runs. Okay, cool. So let's go to the shadows. My method of fighting the shadows, I try and uh, kill the, the strongest one, the one with the katana sword, first. Try to get a couple of viscerals on him, get him out of the way. At first I tried to hack and slash all three of them, just to give them all a good, you know, listen, I'm here. So I'm just going to wait here for the Katana guy to come and, uh, so I can get my viscerals on him. If I see an opening, I'll go for it. You know, if, if I see one of the other ones, I'll buy themselves. Okay, here's that visceral. Right. I'm going to give him a clap or two. Okay, come on. Another guy, another visceral, and then we can start getting rid of you while they're transforming to their, their next stage. Now that's a weakness of the shadows, they don't like physical attacks and they're not fond of fire. Which is kind of weird because they use a lot of fire. They got a visceral on this guy, so... Now this was a classic case of don't underestimate the weakest uh, shadow. I mean, this guy takes damage very uh, easily. But the funny part is, if once he hits you with that uh, uh, 
big ball on a stick. It kind of looks like it to me, just... It, it, it really hits hard. 15-5. Okay, cool. That's a good time for, for these bosses. Heading over to Rom. Now, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you can actually finish off Rom in the 31st um, phase before he transforms. Uh, he has three phases. In the first phase, he's completely passive. He doesn't do anything. He basically depends on the little spiders around him to protect him. So, you can do either one of two things. You can ignore the spiders and go for Rom, but that's a little risky because one hit or one headbutt from them and you're dead. Or you can um, get rid of the spiders like I did and uh, just try and get him in his first phase. He did actually go to his second phase. I'm not going to fight the choir hunter over here. I'm just going to go get the key. She did, um, she did hit me with her pull me on, which was unexpected. But uh, again, guys, it happens. It, 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 <laughs> Just gonna go downstairs, open the door, and go to Rom. Get in the door, the fly almost got me here. Yeah. Right, so let's get this going. Here we go. The turd is flo floating there on, on the lake. Just going to give him one or two smacks just to get him activated. And I'm going to start filling out these guys. Going for their behinds. If you hit them on the heads, the heads are like stone anyway. So they take most of their damage on their backsides. Right. This one. That guy's pooping towards me. I'll get him later. That's just disgusting. Come on. There we go. Always be aware of your surroundings, my thing. You know, just... Don't just focus on one spider. You know, try and... Try and think what the other one would do as you're attacking one of them. It makes sense what I'm saying. Okay. So I'm going to load up some... Beast blood pellets. And I'm actually going to load up some bolts here. Now, I was hoping to get him in his first phase, but he kind of got away from me there. Went for it again. Okay, that's, that's okay damage. I mean, he's past halfway, so... Now I'm just going to go for him as much as I can, but still play safe. I mean, I'm going to go for a hit and I'm going to run. I'm not going to stand next to him because there's too many spiders. And I mean, he does go into a frenzy. And I mean, he can kill you. And I really don't want to start this over again. Plus, he was chucking his blue balls at me, I think, three times in this whole match. So it's, it was... Uh, okay, got a, got a smack there from his big stone head. I think he's going to chuck... Yeah, he's going to chuck more stuff at me now. Now, this is dangerous with all these spiders. <laughs> okay, but one or two hits and I think he's gone. Yeah, you see, if, if, I, I'm pretty sure if I kept on hitting him there, those blue balls would have crashed up down on my head and I would have been dead. So, rather take your time. Don't get greedy. The number one rule in Blood Bowl, don't get greedy. Rather take your time. 19 minutes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We have the one reborn left and we have Mikolaj and the wet nurse. It does take a little bit longer when you do all the bosses. Um, the last time I attempted that, I can't remember my time, but it does take much longer than this. I think my previous best time that I had a speed run on all seven main bosses was about 42 minutes. So, yeah, it was 42 minutes. So, at the pace this one is going, I think it's going quite well. If you haven't already, guys, please uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm really trying to get my gaming channel up to, you know, 
a thousand subscribers and I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button and uh, I really hope my videos help you and I really appreciate you guys thank you so much for all your support I've had these past couple of years it's, it really means a lot to me thank you so much okay just gonna run past these guys I think I finally figured out why these guys are all red in the face. There's so many women, women witches in this uh, area. Maybe they're blushing because there's women and witches and... I don't know, it could be, I could be wrong. But, um... Yeah, so I'm just gonna head over to the laser. As you head, for, head towards that platform, go to the right and as soon as you get there, head left. And the lasers will miss you. I think what helped me save some time as well is to, you know, not light any lanterns. Okay, here's one thing. I was supposed to go for those eight blood vials at the back there, but I got attacked. I mean, I only have nine now, so I really needed those vials. And I thought, well, the dogs are on me, they're shooting at me, I can't go for that. So I was. I, I think I went into the, the one reborn fight, yeah, I got stuck there. Uh, I went into the One Reborn fight with only seven blood vials. Which is not a good thing. I'm just going to head to the elevator shortcut over here. Like I said previously, sometimes the cannon hunter, sometimes he does follow you. Uh, in this instance he didn't, but sometimes uh, he does. Going to the little bath to it's just like a little spawning point I mean you can take the alternative route through the gates and uh, take the long way around if you're playing the game for the first time there's a lot of pickups there there's some ruins there that you can pick up some good gemstones but uh, yeah for this one I'm just going for the fastest time I can do I'm not gonna hit these guys Instead of jumping down, because I don't want to take damage, because I only have seven blood vials, so... Usually it's nice to take a Defector Antol in there, as he keeps the One Reborn busy while you're sorting out the Witches. In this case, I didn't go for the Witches. I, I just went for him and tried to get rid of him as fast as I can, which is dangerous, because they do chuck fireballs at you, and they do uh, give him some more ability to heal. So I'm going to try and hit him twice so I can stun him, and then I'm going to... I shouldn't have healed there. I wasted time there. You see, that's the problem now, because the witches are there now, they keep on hitting me. Some good time. I took back away from that attack. When you're at the back, it's least likely to hit you. When you're on his side, that, that thing can maybe one shot. One reborn done. Okay. Blood files. Okay. On to Mikolash. Now, this part always uh, makes me nervous. It's not because of Mikolash. There are some blood vials in the beginning of the Nightmare of Menses, just before you start heading towards the, the cathedral where uh, Mikolash is located. Now, they are these silver beasts. Now, sometimes they do one of two things. They'll either stand still gawking at you with their uh, weird gaping mouths, or they will lunge at you and jump on you. And once that happens, you die. At this point, I was really, I was, I was scared about this. I was uh, worried about that happening because. When you once you get here in a speed run, you don't want to fuck up. You, you really want to uh, <laughs> push through. Mikolaj himself is not a hard boss. Um, it usually helps if you're wearing, say, the choir garb um, because of his arcane attacks. The choir garb has quite a good arcane uh, resistance. Swing and a miss. Okay. The reason I'm getting rid of that silver beast is otherwise he's going to chase me up to the door and that's not what I want. Alright. 
right, I want those vials. Don't jump on me. I need those eight vials. Got the vials. He's just standing there. He's just standing there. That's cool. Just get past this guy. Swing the miss, right. Okay, I don't need to worry about that. I'm okay there. I can do I can get to the door. Now sometimes these big things I don't know what they are, but they're damn ugly. Sometimes this guy, he would uh, follow you to the door and he would uh, make some cuck. Luckily he didn't follow me. Sometimes I will run straight past through this place below the spiders, but for safety reason I'm going to go to the side and not try and take any damage. As I said in my No Hunter's uh, Dream run that I did, I like passing this hunter on his left side. Um, he's more likely to miss you if you go to his left because he attacks with his right hand. I don't know, it's just a weird way. Kind of makes sense in, a, in the real world, I guess, as well. I'm going to run past the ugly little fat woman thingy down here. She's butt ugly. This, this thing is bad. But, uh, yeah, just going to get past her twin over there, also to her left, which is likely to miss you. The arrow got me there. There's a little metal man back there with a bow and arrow. He got me. 11 vials, 17 bullets. I should be okay. What I'm going to do with Mikolaj is uh, I'm going to do the, the balcony method for this one. Now sometimes Mikolaj is nice, sometimes he goes to the balcony in his second phase immediately. And then sometimes, like in this one, I, I'm pretty sure this is the only thing that really affected my time. He actually went down to the mirror twice. I think if he went to the... Sorry about that, uh, my friends. Uh, got a very important call from the love of my life. Love you, Shelly. Anyway, what I was saying. Sometimes Mikolaj is nice. Sometimes he goes to the balcony in his second phase immediately. In this case, he didn't. He, uh, I think he ran to the mirror twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of his two bodyguards, these two skeletons. Just going to move this one. I'm try and back him against the wall. I'm going to exhaust my stamina by just hitting him. Salt Cleaver works wonders with this boss. Okay, that's it. Now at this point I was really hoping for him to go to the balcony <laughs> because what I do is I take out my pistol, I use some uh, bone marrow ash just to strengthen the, the shot and I just finish him off that way. You can uh, alternatively chase him into the cage for the second time. Or you can cheese him through the door uh, that he drops when he goes into the cage. Or if you're in co-op and uh, you have someone that can uh, basically throw a Molotov at him from the top of the cage, you can cheese him towards the gate and just kill him through the gate. But for this one, I went for the whole balcony method. But this was quite irritating. <coughs> now I had to chase him. So I'm just going to give him a shot or two just to, you know, make him go faster. Take that. Okay. What are we on? 29 minutes and 6 seconds. Okay, cool. So this was definitely my best speedrun I've had so far. Definitely. I'm very, I'm, I'm proud of this one. He, he, he should have just gone left there to the balcony. Now he goes to the mirror. He's ugly anyway. Don't go to the mirror, man. Really? I must tell you, out of uh, all the music I've heard in uh, Blood on the Bloodborne soundtrack, two tracks really stand out to me. It's the music for this boss arena uh, and the music for uh, Hypogen Ghoul. Uh, the jail part of the Yargo Unseen Village. 
that uh, music is so eerie. But this music also, it has this very operatic feel, feel to it. Like this whole game, it is, it's so gothic and dark. And I think that's why I really love this thing so much. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I'm just winding him down now with my Evelyn. Bone Marrow Ash, and then I'm going to use my uh, Black Sky Eye uh, weapon that I found in the DLC part, the Old Hunters part of Bloodborne to finish him off. I mean, yeah, you can use poison knives to poison him, you can throw molotovs at him, you can chuck anything you want at him. I just find that this goes faster. Mickey Gun, right. On to the witness. Three bullets, 18 vials. Now, okay, 18 vials is enough. I'm not even going to go for the pigs. I'm not going to substitute any more stuff. I'm going to use my willy gig. Uh, I can't remember. Did I use poison knives? I don't think I used... I can't remember. <laughs> can't remember. At this point, my brain was so fried from just staring at the screen like this. Some more shadows over here. They can be a handful, really they can. But I think if you use this part to farm for echoes and stuff, it's quite good practice for the shadows anyway, you know. Because I'm probably going to go in there with, what, 17 blood bars, because I'm probably going to heal up. But it's okay. not sure if you play the game for the first time how long it takes to finish the, the main game uh, I mean all the other bosses are optional bosses uh, well not all of them optional bosses include uh, Marta Logarius the the Amic, the Amygdala uh, the Dark Beast Paul Bloodstyled Beast uh, the Witches of Hemwick um, the Celestial Emissaries and Ibritas. I mean, of course, you have to kill every single boss in the game in order to get your Platinum and get all your trophies. Yes, I did use but, uh, Poison Knives. Usually she takes five Poison Knives. It doesn't really do that much, but she doesn't like Bolt and she doesn't like Poison. I usually use Fire Paper anyway, but I've seen that actually Bolt actually does a little bit more damage. Um, but yeah, the, the poison knives that I use, I use five of them just to chuck away, just to bite her a little bit. She almost turned off the power here on me. She almost uh, did a load shedding move on me. I got her out of that very quickly. No, no, no. no power out. Will you? Yeah, take that. Okay, so now, almost done. Two more hits and she's done. But guys, I'm going to greet you so long with this thing thank you for supporting my channel thank you for uh, for subscribing thank you for watching if you haven't already guys again please subscribe and uh, help me get my channel up to a thousand subscribers I would really really like to get there a million would be good but I aim low so if I can get a thousand I'm happy so that was what 33 minutes and a couple of seconds let's let's say 34 minutes 34 minute speedrun, that's not bad. I'm happy with that. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to the uh, the uh, Hunter's Dream. I'm going to run up to Gammon. I'm going to submit my life. And as soon as the titles roll, it's basically done. But yeah, no, I'm happy with this one. Thank you for joining me on this lengthy video, my, my friends. I will see you in the next one. And uh, again, guys, please like share and subscribe cheers my friends good evening farewell fear